Thank you for the eggs. I feel like they're better in the fridge. Like once they're ripe, mm -hmm. I'd rather eat a cold banana. Something refreshing about it. It's rock and roll. Today's second workout. It's Wednesday, which means on my split, it is leg day. And I like to do a little mobility warm up. So I'm gonna make sure I do that. Loosen up the hips before I get into some calves. And then uh, we'll see. I haven't squatted in uh, over a month or done the leg press, but I did do the leg curl real light. I did that uh, last uh, last weekend because uh, I tore my hamstring, at least a partial tear, probably about a grade two after I got it assessed. Um, things were okay. You know, it wasn't too bad, but obviously well, that was my first time actually tearing something. And that was not a fun experience. I'll tell you that much. It was not. I want to make sure the audio is working. Yeah, we're good. All right. Let's get rolling. Hopefully the camera will stay up this time. But, uh, yeah, I was hitting a, a heavy hamstring session at a new gym. Or one that I haven't gone to very often. And, uh, got to the end of it. Wanted to finish with some heavy lunges. So I did that and I was coming up and just felt the pop. Or felt the tear. Heard the pop. And, uh, I know I was a little jacked up. So, got some PT on it the next day and just uh, realized it's going to be probably about five or six weeks until I'm able to really train again, at least in terms of training legs, which brings us to about now. It's about five weeks since it happened. So just been diligent. It, you know, it forced me to refocus on mobility more so than I have had in the past. Freaking Acker, man. That's the top of the microphone hitting the windshield. I will just fall off. Well, fold up the parking ticket like this. Maybe one more time. Like that. And I wedge that right here, like so. As long as that stays up there. All right, let's get back to it. With uh, with yesterday's vlog. I know I mentioned, you know, where the, the energy can come from. And, uh, you know, that can still be there. At least I look at it like it can, can still use that when you're, you're training through an injury. But it's got to be within the confines of smart training that isn't going to get you, you know, injured further. Because you really don't want to be out of the gym. That's kind of the last thing you want. So, you know, then it's... You know, if it's severe enough, you need to see a PT, you know, you see a PT, do their exercises to strengthen it and, you know, take the recommended time off of uh, the heavier movements, for, you know, for that muscle or that area of the body uh, until, you know, you're able to work back up. And that's exactly what I've done. So today will be the first day going through bigger movements. So I'm just going to just going to pace myself a little bit, you know, to keep the reps higher, 12 to 15. You know, make sure I can feel out a full range of motion. And uh, none of the exercises that don't involve my hamstring, of course I'm going to go hard. So I'm looking forward to those for sure. It's a little bit more of a direct lesson to pull from the chapter I was on today in, uh, in the book Never Finished. It was on, well, I'll start with this. I've heard this quote before. This wasn't what was in the book, but... It's how you do anything is how you do everything. And, uh, you know, reading, of course, Goggins was a little a little more coarsely put, I guess, if that's one way to say it. He's, basically, if you're, if you're half-assing things, you, you essentially become someone who just half-asses life. That's, that's how I put it. Um, so any any task you commit to, if you're going to do it, there's way more power in doing it right. Uh, and I think that's very true because not, not only do you look back and 
you know, you, you did the job right, so you don't need to do it again. But then the other side of it is the pride you have. You gotta, and I think that's kind of the core of what he was getting at. You gotta have pride in, in your own work and the things you commit to. Uh, because if you put in 100%, I think that builds a lot more confidence. And I've noticed that. And it's a harder, it's the harder path. It's not, you know, the, the cruise control. But, uh, but not only does it pay off in like the result of what you're doing at the time, it's probably gonna be better. But then it, it's going to work on you as well. It's, um, it's kind of like another quote I, I try to remind myself from time to time, which is, your work works on you more than you work on it. So think about that. Your work works on you more than you work on it. The things you commit to doing every day, what you put effort into, has a greater effect on your character, you know, and your, your discipline, your willpower, than it, than it may have on what it is you're actually doing so I think some some good ones good frame of mind especially you know it comes to training you got a session in front of you you got the workout to do you know what to do you may not want to do the calves or the abs or the cardio you know you're supposed to or you may you may want to kind of cruise through it you're like oh, I could do I know I'm supposed to do it you know cardio at a, a 10 or 11 pace on the you know whatever machine but I'm a little tired today, so maybe I'll go seven or eight. Or maybe you stick to that level you're supposed to do, and maybe you can't even make it all the way through the way you'd like to. But you, you know, then you know, then maybe you back down if you're like, okay, I'm, I can't, I can't push any further. Or maybe you keep it there. You you figure out a way to push through, even if it's not with with the best uh, efficiency. You know, so you won't find out unless you just stick to it and commit and I think that's a very true thing so before I get to the gym I want to wrap this today's talk up with effort because uh, that's kind of what these things are all hitting at you know only you control your effort level you know that so when it comes to you know I'll get asked from time to time like oh, what supplement should I take and you know but the, kind of the extra stuff outside of you know, the simple training and sticking on a diet, right? Supplements can help. I mean, I think one of the most beneficial ones is creatine. Um, it's the most studied. And uh, literally when you're on creatine, you're, you're, or you're taking it, I should say, you're supplying your cells, your muscles with more energy to pull from when you're training so there's some good research that that helps and then with that it holds more water in the actual muscle um which is called the, the intramuscular water retention i believe so you know you look a little more full a little more pumped up um, so you know there's definitely some supplements out there that help but no you know no i don't want to say that that's what i was trying to get at i couldn't figure out how I wanted to say it the difference in going into the gym with a focus and determined mindset versus not that difference in your results is going to be a heck of a lot greater than the difference of training on supplements or not training on supplements you know when it, even I'm a big believer man even even the creatine the the pre-workout yes they all have they all can have effects and some some benefit but there's gonna be no bigger difference than in terms of having versus not having versus going in the gym with a mindset and a focus to bring some intensity to what you're doing um, you know, I'm a big believer that that nothing is gonna beat that so on that note I think it's a good good spot to add so effort effort is the uh, is the word for today for sure um, so I appreciate you guys listening and uh, before I let you go I wanted to say thank you for the uh, just your your support and your your willingness to to listen and uh, and just really be present for that that first vlog I uploaded yesterday you know I'm, I'm still reading through some of the comments in there and uh, man it's just, it's just special to me that to know that you know some of you guys connect with the message and uh, I appreciate the heck out of you guys for for coming back to the channel and and uh, you know I'm glad we can connect on the channel too you know so hopefully 
I know some of you guys have mentioned it. Hopefully, one day we can cross paths. That'd be uh, it'd be pretty cool to meet some of you guys in person. So, just wanna just wanted to give a, a real thank you to you guys for that, and uh, just know I'm rooting for you guys too. So, I'm gonna get in here, crush some legs. I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching. That was uh, another little morning. What do I know? I'm just Merck.